This is a Fox News alert. I'm Ashley Strohmeyer live in New York. You are seeing live images from Red Square in Moscow. That's where celebrations are now underway, marking Victory Day. It's an annual event commemorating the Soviet Union's defeat over Nazi Germany. Western observers think Russian President Vladimir Putin will use this occasion to ramp up the war against Ukraine. As you can see right now, he is addressing his nation. You know, just four minutes into this speech, which started about 10 minutes ago, uh, he accused the West of threatening Russia. Putin also said the West did not listen to Russia and that they had other plans. Also important to note, U.S. veterans were banned from attending the celebration, but also the U.S. had the U.S. embassy that is warned Americans ahead of time to actually avoid the celebration spaces altogether for the obvious reasons of those heightened tensions. Putin also said the Donbass volunteers and Russian troops are fighting for their motherland. Putin also likened Russia's action in Ukraine to the Soviet fighting in World War II. Um, as they were getting ready for this during rehearsals, the Russian military staged a rehearsal on Wednesday. It was for the celebration today. It featured 62 military aircraft that bore the now famous Z symbol that has appeared on tanks and other vehicles during the invasion. And as we've been watching this for the past, you know, 15, 10, 15 minutes or so, it is quite the spectacle, as you can see. Um, this is a big day for them. It's also um, a day of significance to Putin and his ambitions. So it'll be interesting to note what comes out of this. And of course, we will keep you updated throughout the, the morning on Fox and Friends First and Fox and Friends as more comes out from this. But as you are seeing right now, this is uh, Russians gathering to celebrate Victory Day. Also, if you're just now tuning in, um, U.S. veterans were banned from these celebrations. But as I said, the, Russia, uh, the uh, U.S. Embassy had warned Americans to just steer clear of this area altogether as well as from the rehearsals. Stick with Fox News Channel for more on this breaking news story. We'll have more for you throughout the day. Whatever Whitten and his thugs have been, you know, threatening escalation, potentially with chemical weapons, now more recently uh, with nuclear weapons. Hey, listen, this is, this is all about intimidation and coercion and trying to blackmail the United States here in, in doing such a thing. I mean, it, it's obviously something we just can't dismiss when we shouldn't be cavalier about it. But we've got to have both feet mm -hmm. planted on the ground here. I mean, Russia is on the cusp of possibly losing a war to Ukraine. That, that opportunity is was unfathomable uh, a couple of months ago. But that that opportunity is there. It still would be a huge struggle for Ukraine to be able to achieve that result. But the, the facts are that if that does happen, Russia's forces uh, will be so depleted that Ukraine will be able to have achieved a deterrence from Russia attacking NATO, which is one of the things they have talked about uh, Putin specifically has talked about in his recent recent speeches, as we all know, which gave the Baltics and certainly uh, Poland, you know, great concern, and, and obviously so. Listen, the Russians have got to understand clearly that if, if they're going to use a tactical nuclear weapon, that that is a game changer, and they, by doing so, are going to escalate the war, and that is certainly is not going to be in their interest whatsoever. Uh, they're already losing a fight to Ukraine, uh, and and whether they can salvage any of that uh, for the May 9th celebration uh, remains to be seen in terms of celebrating Mariupol and a couple of the republics they want to mm -hmm. declare. Though those are political victories, but they don't have much in terms of military victories to, uh, to celebrate. And I don't think we should cower in fear. Uh, with the Russians' intimidation and coercion about nuclear weapons. At the same time, we shouldn't take it lightly. But I do believe that I believe the Russians should know unequivocally some of the actions that are on the table that we could take if they did use nuclear weapons, and we should make that very clear to them privately, and there's certainly ways to do that so they understand that, even though they don't want to talk to us. Fair enough, General Keene.